Welcome everybody to a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video today. And this week sees the release of the sci-fi action adventure extravaganza Bumblebee hitting store shelves along with the crime drama The Mule as well as the dramatic biopic Vice plus much, much more. So let's go in, see the deals, exclusives, and we're in our first location, Walmart. So let's go in and see what they got. All right, guys, we are in at Walmart here where this display for Bumblebee right here, not half bad at all. Pretty nice display right here. And the first thing I'm seeing here is they have the Blu-ray DVD and digital of Bumblebee for $22.96. They also have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $27.96. And they have the DVD over here for $17.96. Now, I'm not seeing any exclusives or anything. It's all pretty much the same artwork and everything, but not bad selection, though. And Bob and I did a movie review on Bumblebee. You can catch it on the movie review playlist and... I will also put a link down in the description below uh, for you guys to hear our full thoughts if you want to. And, you know, we were kind of skeptical going into this movie because, honestly, we really don't like the Michael Bay movies. We kind of think they're garbage and they're just not really well-made films and uh, I don't think they do the Transformers justice. So going into Bumblebee, I wasn't quite sure what this was going to be. I didn't know how they were going to actually service the the characters or you know the transformers well in this but surprise surprise they did a really great job with this one guys i thought that bumblebee was really well done here fantastic i thought the characters were well drawn very likable i thought the action was solid here you saw everything that was going on you got to see you know all of the action here it wasn't all like just metal on metal it actually made sense i like the 80s nostalgia here as well I thought everything worked really well to the film's advantage, man. Um, it is the best Transformers movie yet. I will honestly say that. It's the best one that I've seen in a long, long time, guys. Very, very well done here. Um, you know, again, I was really worried because, again, Bumblebee is more of a sidekick kind of character. But I thought, again, I thought they did a really great job. I thought it was really solid and they did a great job with the movie. Um, again, I think a lot of people were hesitant about this one. But if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely do it. It's really well worth it, guys. I really highly recommend this one, guys. Very, very well done, and definitely the best Transformers one yet. Um, and again, really cool display here, guys. Again, and I really like this. They have this Snapchat thing for Snap to Scan for Decepticons and Bring Bumblebee to Life. I don't have Snapchat, but if you guys do, that's actually pretty cool right there. Other than that, not half bad here so far at Walmart. Let's see what else they got. All right, everybody, we are at yet another display that Walmart has for the mule right here, guys. Not a bad display for the mule right here. And the first thing I'm seeing is they have the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital of the mule for $22.96. They also have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $29.96. And they have the DVD over here for $15.96 as well. And Nick and I did a movie review on The Mule. You can catch it on the movie review playlist. I'll also put another link down below if you guys want to hear our full thoughts. And this is a really well done, well made crime drama, man. And what a crazy and wild true story this is. It's actually a true story of this guy in his, like, in his 80s who was transporting the drugs for this cartel and not getting caught and crazy true story as it is really wild stuff man and it's it's really well done here man i really like clint eastwood in this i like all the actors bradley cooper diane weiss they all do a tremendous job here the, the acting is superb there's uh, some nice humor mixed in with the drama as well which really sort of breaks it up it doesn't feel sort of monotonous it's it's actually really well done a really solid clint eastwood movie not only did he star in it but he also directed it as well I thought it was really good. I thought he did a fantastic job, and yeah, I don't know if it's his like best movie he's done ever. It's, it's a competent movie. He does a good, good job. It's nice to see Clint Eastwood on the big screen again, but yeah, I absolutely really enjoyed this one. If you like Clint Eastwood, if you like these sort of crime drama, drug mule type of movies, 
definitely give this one a look, guys. It's actually not half bad. I really did enjoy it quite a bit, guys. No exclusives for the mule here, but I kind of figured we weren't going to get any exclusives for this movie. Let's see what else Walmart's got to show off. Alright guys, we're over in this display area here of Walmart, and they do have here a six movie pack, Blu-ray digital for Bumblebee and all five of the Transformers movies for $49.96. And guys, look, if you're a fan of the Transformers movies, go ahead and get it. It's kind of a cool set here to pick up, but for me, man... Uh, I'm just gonna pretend those other Transformers movies don't exist, man. Uh, and I like Bumblebee enough where I just don't want to ruin it with having it in the collection with the other Transformers movies. Just my opinion, guys. That's what I think. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's not a terrible... Those Transformers movies aren't terrible, but they're not exactly great either. They're kind of... They're kind of a little... Well, they're kind of shit. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and, and, and you know, like, sugarcoat it, but... They've got good moments in it, but they're not exactly like Bumblebee, and Bumblebee is way better of a movie than, um, you know, the Transformers movies are. That's just me, though, but if you like them, they do have the uh, six movie pack here, guys. Then, over here, I am seeing they have the DVD of Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase for $14.96, the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $19.96, uh, did this come to theaters, guys? Because I'm... I don't remember it coming to theaters. And if it did, it must have been really quick to come to theaters. Because I don't remember it at all, guys, to be honest with you. Um, I did look up the trailer. And the trailer doesn't look too bad. It's sort of a modern take on, on, the, on the book series. And... I'm, I'm not in love with the Nancy Drew books. They're, they're not something that I grew up with. I didn't really love them. So I don't know how this movie is, if it sticks really close to the book series or if it doesn't. They've made a few movies of Nancy Drew. I know they, I think they made one in 2007, a long time back. It's nice to see them doing more stuff with Nancy Drew. I'd like to see how the movie is. Definitely let me know what you guys think. The cover's not bad. Uh, the, the chick is actually looks pretty cool in, in the movie. It doesn't... It doesn't look terrible, I'm just not a big fan of Nancy Drew, so it's probably nothing that I would watch, but definitely let me know what you guys think of Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase. Hmm, interesting. Then, over here I am seeing they have the Blu-ray DVD and digital of Vice for $19.96, and the DVD over here for $14.96, and my friend Nick and I also did a movie review for Vice as well. I'll put a link down below in the, the description for you to hear our thoughts on the movie, but we actually really enjoyed the movie quite a bit, and it's kind of interesting because my friend Nick and I, we come from two very different political spectrums, so it was kind of interesting for him to share his thoughts and me sharing my thoughts, two very different people on the spectrum, but we both agree it's very well done here. Um, the acting is phenomenal here. The directing by Adam McKay is, is great as well. Really, really well done here. And, you know, it's a very fascinating story about Dick Cheney. The thing about it is that when you watch the movie, it doesn't endear you to the guy. It doesn't make you really, like, love the dude or anything. But it's a very fascinating look into this man and his life and how he became the way he was. I really enjoyed it, man. I thought it was a really interesting and fascinating movie, and it's a very interesting biopic. Even if you don't like the guy, you really have to appreciate the story and what this dude went through. It's very, very fascinating, and I really do highly recommend Vice, guys. I think it's a really phenomenal and well-done movie. Um, again, it has its funny moments. It's had its, its dramatic moments. The acting is top-notch. Well worth your time to at least check out, guys. I think it's well worth it. I really do. Then, over here I'm seeing they have the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital of... Help! I shrunk my teacher! What? <laughs> the Blu-ray, DVD, digital for $14.96 here, and... Hmm, I have not heard of this one before at all. Not really sure about this one. It looks kind of interesting. Probably a good one for kids. Uh, the one you're old. Hmm. 
I don't, I don't really know anything about this. I mean, I do like actually those older, like, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movies with, with Rick Moranis. I like those ones quite a bit. This could be kind of cool, like, in that vein. It could be kind of cool with, like, a shrunken person and, like, all the really huge items like pens and pencils and all that weird stuff. It could be actually kind of cool. I would actually kind of be interested to kind of check it out. It's probably nothing for me. It's probably, again, more for kids, but... If you guys like sort of that old school Honey, I Shrunk the Kids stuff, this might actually be not bad, honestly. Definitely let me know what you think of Help, I Shrunk My Teacher. I like the cover, though. The cover's actually really cool. And I, I actually like the back with, like, the teacher there in, like, a... Almost like a... A, a toilet roll. Hmm. Very interesting. Kind of weird. Hmm. Looks interesting enough. Then the next thing over here I'm seeing is they have... Adventures at the Chocolate Factory, the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $14.96 right here. Huh. This is another one I have not heard of, and it looks like one for kids yet again. I like the cover, though. The cover's really cool. Hmm. When their mom goes away for the weekend, the kids are left home with dad, and they family trip to the circus all around it. Hmm. That actually looks pretty cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie, if this came out when I was a kid, this would definitely be one I would want to watch. I like that, going going to, like, work overtime in a chocolate factory and all those sort of misadventures that they could get into. I kind of like that a lot. It looks kind of cool, actually. Yeah, this would actually be one that I would definitely ch check out just as, like, a fan of, like, I like Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. I like that kind of stuff. This is actually, could be really cool. And, like, again, if you're a kid... This is probably a really cool little kind of adventure type of a movie. Not bad. Hmm. Definitely let me know what you guys think of Adventures at the Chocolate Factory. Not bad at all. Then, the last thing over here I'm seeing is they have The Man Who Killed Hitler and then Bigfoot. The DVD for $12.96, the Blu-ray for $14.96. And I got a chance to watch this on Amazon Prime, guys. I was really interested to check this out just for the title alone because the title... I was like, this is weird, man. And I was telling my friend Ron, like, I'm not sure about this movie. I, I, I like the title, but I don't know what this is going to be. This is a really great movie, guys. Really fantastic. I really enjoyed this movie quite a bit, man. Basically, it's about this older man played by Sam Elliott who is reminiscing about his life and the war and his past and the woman he used to love. And he gets this assignment to kill Bigfoot and... He, you know, just remembers his life, and it just is a, is a very great, interesting, and well-done movie, man. I love the story here. I love the flashbacks to sort of a Nazi Germany and the stuff he did with with Hitler, and I love I love the Bigfoot stuff. I don't think the Bigfoot stuff disappoints at all. Sam Elliott is awesome here, man. He does a great job with it. I thought he did a great job with the acting and everything so well well done here yeah man i was pleasantly surprised by this movie i thought the action was really cool here i you get to know the characters you fall in love with them yeah man this was a really solid movie man and i wasn't quite sure what to expect with this from the title alone but i'm telling you guys it's a really solid well-made movie and i would if you're a fan of sam elliott if you're a fan of these sort of quirky independent a little bit different type of movies and I am, in a big bad way, it's thought sometimes. Definitely give this a look, man. I think it's really genuine, really interesting, very fascinating, and really well made, man. And I really had a hell of a time with this movie. I enjoyed the hell out of it, guys. Yeah, definitely, definitely give this a look when you get the chance, guys. Highly recommend it. I really do. Very surprised by this one, but loved it quite a bit. Well, that does it for this section of Walmart. Let's see what else they got guys all right guys we're over in this section of walmart over here and the first thing i'm seeing over here is they have the dvd of stan and ollie for 14.96 here and i also got a chance to watch this on amazon prime now this came out last week but i couldn't show it because well well you guys know what happened last week don't want to say too much more but this one is a really solid movie, guys. A really great comedy, dramatic comedy. Um, Steve Coogan and John C. Riley kill it as uh, Laurel and Hardy right here. 
and it's basically just about sort of um sort of the final sort of leg of of a tour that they're doing of comedy and sort of the last bit before they disband and sort of the the drama that they had to deal with together and sort of the falling out that they had and and just the downslide of their career very fascinating and interesting movie i don't know a ton about laurel and hardy to be honest with you guys i'm not as well versed on them but i do know that they were pioneers they they paved the way for people like abbott and costello and so many more comedy duos that came after that um i definitely gotta see more laurel and hardy movies but this one really makes you want to delve more into their career I think it's a very fascinating and very interesting movie. I, I love John C. Riley here under all the makeup. He does a fantastic job. Steve Coogan is a great partner in crime here as well. I, I love the comedy here. I, I love the drama. I love seeing the old Hollywood and the style of it. I, I love all that stuff from back in the day. It's a really well done and solid biopic that you guys should definitely check out. And it definitely does make you want to check out more stuff with Laurel and Hardy. I definitely got to do that, guys. A really well done solid movie that you guys should definitely check out. Definitely give it a chance, guys. Then over here, I am seeing they have a few new releases over in this corner right over here, guys. And the first thing I'm seeing over here is they have a Violent Man, the DVD for $9.96 right here. Hmm, who's in this? Chuck Liddell, Denise Richards. Okay, very interesting right here. Uh, an unknown MMA fighter, Tim Matthews, going to be a champ. Hmm, that could be good. It's not a bad synopsis. Um, I do like a good sort of boxing movie. Uh, Creed 2 was a great boxing movie. Not sure how this one is going to be or not. It looks kind of interesting. I might give it a chance, but I, mm, somebody like Denise Richards, I'm not sure. I mean, look at Denise Richards, though, man. My God, what happened to her? She got a lot of plastic surgery, man. She looks all messed up. I mean, I used to love Denise Richards back in the day, but, hmm. Looks interesting. I like the cover, though. Cover's cool. If you guys have seen A Violent Man, definitely let me know. Then, over here, I'm seeing they have Burning Kiss, the DVD digital for $9.96 right here. Hmm, very interesting cover. Let's see. And it's surrealistic noir... Huh, very interesting about this one, too. Not bad. I do like a good noir, man. I do like a good film noir from time to time. I like the cover. The cover looks very, looks very cool with all the colors there. really like that a lot. Yeah, this doesn't look half bad. I like the guy in the, in the trench coat and the, and the hat. Very creepy. Hmm, this does look kind of interesting. I'll definitely have to look up more on this film, guys. If you guys have seen Burning Kiss, let me know. Hmm. Then they have the DVD digital of Scare BNB for a $9.96. Ooh, scary. A bed and breakfast. I'm just worried about the bed bugs, but jeez. I like the cover, though. The cover's actually really cool. Not bad there. Girl being stalked by a killer with some sort of hatchet or something. Not bad here. What is this? When a young girl books a room online, things soon turn sinister. Very interesting. Hmm, it kind of almost reminds me of something like Vacancy, where, like, they go into this place and thinking it's all innocent, and there's much more, like, weird and sinister and fucked up things going on, and they gotta survive, and they're being hunted and everything. It, it could be cool, but it could be kind of cheesy as shit, too. Not sure about this this one, though, guys. Not sure about it. Definitely let me know what you think of Scare B&B. Then over here, I'm seeing they have Rust Creek, the DVD for twelve ninety six, one from IFC Midnight. Very interesting there. What is this thing about? Oh, I'm gonna summon. I think Rousey the back of the. Hmm. That actually looks interesting. I like the synopsis there. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It almost reminds me of like I Spit on Your Grave or something like that, where she she's in these backwoods and she has to deal with these sort of people that are you know killing her or trying to kill her and 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 stalking her and everything kind of reminds me of that it it could be kind of cool actually different spin on it could be interesting hmm not bad cover art definitely let me know what you think of rust creek hmm 
Then over here I'm seeing they have Red Island, the DVD for $9.96 right here. Not a bad cover for that. Awaken the Evil. Hmm. Okay, well this is what hoping to repair is their relationship. Open Amy to local ancient native. Yes, that's great. You, you know what? To to help your stale relationship, go to an ancient native burial ground and find artifacts and get hot stock. That'll really help the relationship, guys, honestly. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, this looks kind of interesting. I like them stumbling upon an artifact and and getting hunted and stuck by a monster. That could be kind of cool. Again, could be kind of cheesy, just like Scare b and but not bad here. And look at that. That, like, weird kid or creature or something. That looks really weird. Messed up. Hmm. Oh, that looks really odd to me. Red Island. Could be good. Could be shit. Definitely let me know. Hmm. Then over here I'm seeing... Oh, they have Hell Girl, the DVD for $9.96. There. <laughs> Daddy's girl is a little devil. There you, wow, hell girl, very interesting here. What is this sucker about? A team of ghost hunters must set aside their quick buck party ways when they discover that one of their own is the offspring of the demonic entity haunting their latest job. Ah, don't you hate when that happens, guys? Ah, oh, I hate when that happens, man. It ruins everything. Oh, man. It, it could be interesting. Uh, you know, the, the, the chick kind of looks kind of cool here. A little fucked up. Um, who else is You got Tom Sizemore in here. Yes, Tom. Straight to DVD, Tom Sizemore himself. Uh, looks kind of cool. Uh, you know, again, some of these straight to DVD ones could be cheesy as shit, so I'm still on the fence, but uh, it, it could be a fun time. It could be a fun time. Who knows? Oh, girl. Then you've got, oh, you've got the Tooth Fairy right here, the DVD for $9.96. Oh, interesting. She's here to collect. Wow, only the face a mother could love right here. Look at that, guys. Very interesting right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, don't you hate when that happens? Brushing your teeth and there's, and there's just this weird demon behind you. God, happens to me all the time, I'm telling you guys. Oh, you wish she was only a fairy tale. Yeah, right. Uh, we don't know the legend of the Tooth Fairy, but what we don't know is her dark side. Here's the thing, there's so many of these type of legend stuff that they do for horror movies. There's so many types of them, why not do the Tooth Fairy? I mean, it only makes sense. Uh, I just don't know how this movie is, man. It could be real shit. Uh, it most likely is real shit, guys. If it didn't go to theaters, usually these type of movies go to theaters, but this one, not quite sure. Um, it's cool, the idea of the Tooth Fairy being evil, but I've sort of seen movies like this before and they haven't been the greatest, so I'm going to probably pass on this one, but, uh, yeah, if you guys do check it out, let me know. Tooth Fairy, hmm. And then one other one they have over here is Banished, the DVD for $9.96. Hmm, nobody is innocent. Well, you got that one right. Uh... Let's see, banished. Oh, interesting. Look at that check. Evil was born here. Let's see. Over in 1992. River Jen Freeze. Hmm, could be could could be kind of cool. Evil sort of so sort of stalking her and and you know some some sort of like you know entity or or something. Oh, not bad. Again, not not a bad cover actually. Kind of cool. Just. I noticed that they have a lot of great covers and then the movie is kind of shit. So they get you with the cover art and then when you get home you're like, ah shit, this movie's garbage. Um, that happens quite a lot guys. It kind of looks cool but not sure if I would be into it. But definitely let me know about Banished. And honestly, some really cool cover art this week. Tooth Fairy, Hellgirl, Banished, Burning Kiss, Scare b, b A lot of really cool and interesting stuff this week. Not really exclusives, but a lot of stuff to check out, guys. All right. Let's head out. 
Yes, guys, I am back to filming again here at this Walmart. Uh, there is a story behind it, and I will definitely tell you that story at the end of the video. But suffice it to say, it's really nice to be back again at Walmart to film. Not really any exclusives this week. I was kind of hoping for something for Bumblebee, but outside of that, I wasn't expecting too much. But, yeah, no real exclusives this week, but a ton of selection. Man, Walmart had a lot of selection to check out, guys. A lot of stuff, cool independent titles, a lot of the big name releases and some surprises as well. And not bad as always for Walmart. Let's head to the second location and see what goodies we can find there. Let's head out. All right, everybody, we are at our second location, Target. Now, with Walmart, we got really fantastic selection, but no exclusives, which I was honestly hoping we'd get something, but we didn't get anything. So, I'm hoping we're going to get some sort of exclusive here at Target. Uh, you know, for me, honestly, Target's actually been really great so far for 2019 with exclusives. They've had some really fantastic stuff, guys. So, I'm kind of hoping there's something for at least Bumblebee. Outside of that, I'm hoping for some of the new releases and some cool physical media, as always, guys. Let's head into Target and find out what they got. All right, guys, we are over here in Target, and the first thing I'm seeing is they have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital of Bumblebee for $29.99, the Blu-ray DVD and Digital for $24.99, and the DVD for $19.99 here. And, you know, look, I'm going to be honest. I like Michael Bay. I mean, he's a good filmmaker, but those Transformers movies, man, those Transformers movies are pure shit. They're really, really terrible, guys. I mean, okay, fine. I, there's some redeemable value maybe in the first one. Uh, you know, I kind of like the design of Optimus Prime. I kind of like some of the action a little bit. But I, I just, I really don't like Shia LaBeouf in any of the other movies. And crazy enough, I do like Mark Wahlberg in the later Transformers movies. But I don't think he's well-serviced. I don't think the movie's all... The movies are all that well done. I think the comedy is really cringeworthy. The action, I can't tell what the hell is going on in the action in those Transformers movies. I, I mean, I don't know who's fighting who or what's happening. I have no clue. So, I was so happy that that this is, that this got made. This Bumblebee movie got made. Because from what I hear, this is actually an official reboot of the franchise. From what I hear, which is actually really great because... It needs a reboot in a big bad way, and this was a great launching pad. I know the movie didn't do as well box office wise as they were hoping, but I think that has more to do with the other Transformers films and how people got tired of it rather than the actual movie itself. It's really, really well done, man. And Travis Knight, who directed that thing, was the first live action film he ever did. Kudos to that man. Um, like I said, Haley Steinfeld is really good in here. John Cena is solid as well. Of of really good surprise honestly i wasn't expecting much out of this movie because again i had been burnt out so many times by transformers movies but this is honestly well done guys and one that i definitely think you guys should check out if you're a lover of the old school transformer stuff like like the generation one stuff definitely get on this very very well worth worth it guys then the next thing over here i'm seeing is they have the 4k ultra hd blu-ray and digital of the mule for 29.99 the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $22.99 and the DVD for $15.99 right here, guys. And, oh man, if this is Clint Eastwood's last film, then, you know, he did a good job, man. It's a really great performance, a really good, solid movie. And honestly, here's the thing about it. Clint Eastwood, man, his career has spanned it like decades and generations, man. I, I think the earliest thing I've ever seen him in was he did a small role in the beginning of one of the Creature from the Black Lagoon movies, if I'm not mistaken. He did that, and he honestly is just a classic actor from all of the westerns to the Dirty Harry stuff. He's had such a storied and, and historic career, and I mean, the guy I think is in his 90s, so he's he's definitely like just just pushing old age big time. Uh, he's not doing as much as he used to. I think this is, I think this is his first like starring role, uh, other than I think Trouble with the Curve that came out a long time ago. So he's not doing many movies anymore. This might be his last one, 
but it's it's a well worth one. It's well worth it, and it really is a solid, solid movie. Clint Eastwood does a great job. Well worth definitely checking out if you're a fan of Clint, Clint Eastwood, guys, definitely. Then over here I'm seeing they have the Blu-ray DVD digital of Vice for $19.99, the DVD for $17.99 here. And this movie's directed by Adam McKay. Now, you guys kind of know Adam McKay. He directed the Anchorman movies and a bunch of comedies. This is very different from what he normally does. But, you know, he did a movie a while back called The Big Short, which was about sort of the housing crisis and, and the bubble that crashed, you know, under Bush and everything. Really fascinating movie, really well done. Also had Christian Bale in it and Steve Carell and everybody. A really amazing, amazing movie. Very well done, much like this one as well. And again, the performances here are fantastic. Everybody does a wonderful job here. But you know the one person that stands out, I think, is Steve Carell, man. Steve Carell did an awesome job as Donald Rumsfeld, dude. He killed it. I was not expecting him to do a great job. But I really like Steve Carell in more dramatic stuff. I mean, I don't love him in everything. But I like him taking more chances. And him playing Donald Rumsfeld, he did a great job. Everybody did a solid job here, guys. Really, really well done. Even if you're not a fan p politically of this man... Or, you know, you have your reservations about how the story is going to be told. It really is unique and interesting. And it mixes some comedic elements with dramatic elements. And I think it does it in a really solid way, man. It deserves the Oscar nominations. Really well worth, worth it, guys. Definitely give it a chance if you have not. Again, very, very well wor worth it. Just for the performances alone. Then the other thing I am seeing over here is they have... Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase, the DVD for $14.99 and the Blu-ray for $19.99. And I think that last Nancy Drew movie was in 2007 with Emma Roberts, if I'm not mistaken. Man, talk about a blast from the past and Emma Roberts' career definitely changed in a big bad way, guys. Uh, definitely not the um, nice, pristine girl that everyone knew her to be. But this one does kind of look interesting, and the actress here, uh, Sophia Lilith, if I'm not mistaken, she actually is a really interesting actress. She was in It Chapter 1, and I believe she played Beverly. She did a great job in that. I believe she's going to be in It Chapter 2 as well. She's got a lot of other projects going on. She's actually a really cool actress, somebody I'm actually kind of looking forward to see more work that she does. You know... Even though I'm not a big fan of the Nancy Drew books, again, I did like the trailer. So I am interested to see if this is worth it or is this just like a stupid kids movie that I should stay away from. Definitely let me know, guys. But it does look kind of interesting, to be honest with you, and something I might have to check out at some point. Hmm. Other than that, nothing else really to check out here. And certainly no exclusives, even though I thought we might get something to check out, guys. Um, well, no exclusives aside, a little bit of a shame. Other than that, they did have a lot of selection. All right, let's head out. So we did get the new releases that I knew we'd get here, but we certainly did not get the exclusives that I was hoping for. I mean, Bumblebee is a really big, popular Transformers title. You would think we would get exclusives, but Walmart didn't have it, and neither did Target, so... Uh, maybe at the third location we'll definitely have more luck we'll definitely see outside of the bigger name releases not too much else to show here either but it's target you kind of know outside of the bigger releases we don't get too much more to show but I was really hoping for that exclusive but sometimes you lose out guys uh, let's hope the third location has more luck and more media to show off all right let's head out all right everybody we are at our third and final location the beast Best Buy, but before we go in, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of trailers that I saw. Uh, the first, Annabelle is back, baby. In the third chapter in the Annabelle series, Annabelle comes home. And, you know, it's kind of interesting because they're doing a lot more with this Conjuring universe. The first couple of Annabelle movies were were very popular. They made a lot of money. The Nun made a lot of money. The other Conjuring films made money, so they're continuing with this universe, and Annabelle is going to finish a trilogy? Well, I mean, I wasn't a really big fan of that first Annabelle movie. I, 
I liked the idea behind it. I liked the Annabelle doll, but I felt like the movie was kind of half-assed, and I felt like it was not very effective of a movie. Actually, the second Annabelle film I thought was actually much better. I, I, I honestly do. I think the second film is vastly superior to the first film. I like the scares a little bit more. I like the characters. I thought there was kind of creepy and atmospheric. I, I did tend to actually like that one a lot more. And so with this one, I'm kind of curious, you know, because the Warrens are actually going to be in it this time. Um, Pat Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga, they're actually going to be in it as the Warrens. And just about this girl, um, you know, getting getting haunted by Annabelle and, you know, I I'm assuming Annabelle wants to take over her body or something like that. It's an interesting premise. It's an interesting idea. I like the Warrens being featured in it. Of course, you know, you gotta have the stupid fucking teenager who doesn't know when to not go into a room. Uh, doesn't matter what day, decade it is. Uh, teenagers are teenagers and they're always stupid. So it doesn't surprise me one bit. But uh, it kind of looks good, though. It does look good. It looks interesting. I'm surprised we're actually getting it in June. Um, I was not expecting it. I was expecting it more towards Halloween. So it's kind of weird that we're getting it so soon. But, uh, yeah, consider me signed up for the third one. Hopefully it's just as good as the second one. Hopefully it finishes the trilogy on a high note. Let's hope, guys. And the other trailer that I saw was The Dead, Don't Die, uh, the latest Jim Jarmusch film, and the trailer looks good, guys. I like the trailer. Uh, you know, I've said in previous Out and Abouts that I feel like the zombie genre is really overplayed, and I feel like it's very tired, and it needs to take a break. And then I see trailers like this that give me hope that there's still a lot to do with the zombie genre. There's still cool stories to tell, cool characters to interact with. I'm I'm hopeful for the movie. I think it looks really good. I mean, damn, you got one hell of a cast here, man. Bill Murray, Chloe Sevigny, Iggy Pop, oh my god, uh, the Adam Driver. I mean, so many actors, man. Uh, very interesting movie. I like it's sort of like a small town feel with the cops and they're getting overrun by zombies and they have to sort of take on the, the zombies, there's there's sort of, there's cool little dry humor in there mixed with the zombie action, the zombies look good in the trailer, the comedy is sort of, you know, sort of this dry wit humor that I tend to appreciate, um, I'm, I'm actually interested, I really am interested in it guys, and it's kind of cool to see Bill Murray actually doing a zombie film because... You know, he had the cameo in Zombieland, and it's kind of cool to see him doing something different and doing a zombie comedy, much more than just a cameo. So it's really cool. I am really looking forward to it. That one looks really cool. And Jim Jarmusch is actually a really interesting director. I like some of his work. So I'm definitely on board with this one in a big, bad way. Definitely let me know what you guys think of the trailers. And let's head into Best Buy for some cool physical media. Let's check it out, guys. All right, everybody, we are in at Best Buy here, and the first thing I'm seeing is they have the DVD of Bumblebee right here for $17.99, the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $22.99, the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $27.99, and unfortunately, guys, they do have an exclusive steelbook here for $32.99. But it is all out. That must have went really, really fast. So unfortunately, yeah, no steelbook over here. But we'll check in another area just in case they may have it. But, you know, again, I think this is a really great reboot and reinvention of the franchise. The unfortunate thing is I heard an interview from, I believe, one of the producers of Bumblebee who said that, um, I guess people want more Michael Bay so they're gonna put they're gonna do a sequel to Bumblebee but they're gonna put like more like Michael Bay action in it which I'm like oh god no don't do that and then on top of that he said that they are gonna do a sequel to Transformers the last night and I'm like what are you doing man don't do any of that shit like people people don't want that people want people really like but Bumblebee because it was refreshing it was something different it wasn't the same Michael Bay garbage we had gotten before 
it was unique they liked it a lot they they cared for the characters the designs of them felt like it was from generation one don't put any michael bay in it don't do an, a sequel to the last night nobody wants it i mean i don't i mean maybe you guys do but i don't really want it i i really like this one and i really hope that maybe down the line they will do a a proper sequel without the michael bay stuff i hope travis knight comes back i i just want i just want good transformers movies man that's what i want i want good transformers films and that's why i love bumblebee so much because it reminds me of old school transformers like the, the animated movie which i adore and i just really hope that they learn from their lessons and don't make another crap michael bay movie but uh, i'm not really sure man but i don't know that's just my opinion but it is a really good movie definitely one you definitely guys got to check out and there is actually not bad special features deleted and extended scenes outtakes uh, you get an animated motion comic, Bumblebee's Next Adventure, and more. Not bad special features for the price tag, guys. Honestly, it is well worth it to check out a really solid movie. Definitely give it a look, guys. And then the next thing over here I'm seeing is I'm seeing the DVD of Vice for $14.99 and the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $19.99. And... You know, it's kind of interesting because I do like a lot of good, like, presidential-style biopics. Like, there was that one that Oliver Stone did for George W. Bush called W., which I actually really like Josh Brolin in that a lot. But actually, crazy enough, Christian Bale was supposed to be George W. Bush in that movie, but he turned down the role, and then they gave it to Josh Brolin. But I really like movies like that, movies like Nixon and JFK and LBJ. There's a lot of really great presidential biopics in here i don't know where vice exactly lands with all of that stuff guys but i will say this much though that it is very well worth it to check out it, it really delves in into dick cheney quite a bit and again once you leave this movie i think you're gonna either appreciate dick cheney more or you're gonna really like say this guy's a complete and utter scumbag uh either or i think it's still a really fascinating movie and i think it's a great compliment to a, a movie like w which which really is a very fascinating look into george w bush as well that oliver stone did so it's a kind of nice cool double feature let me know some presidential biopics that you think are really cool definitely let me know guys and here you get uh deleted scenes uh gaming the system the making of vice the music of power gallery and much more not a bad set of special features for the 1999 price tag if you like it then definitely definitely give it a look guys well worth it i think in my opinion then over here guys i am seeing they have the mule the blu-ray dvd and digital for 22.99 and the 4k ultra hd Blu-ray and digital for $29.99, and they also have the DVD here for $15.99 as well, guys. And I'm kind of curious what you guys think. What is your favorite Clint Eastwood movie? I know that's saying a lot because Clint Eastwood's done quite a bit. Um, for me, it's kind of really hard. I mean, Million Dollar Baby is really high up there. I think also Gran Torino. You know, there's a lot of people who really love Gran Torino, and I, I really love that one a lot. Gran Torino is classic Clint Eastwood. Of course, you got to put the Dirty Harry ones in there as well. Uh, Unforgiven is a really great, great one also. God, come to think of it, there's really a lot of Clint Eastwood stuff to, to really appreciate. I don't know which one would be my favorite, but I am curious to hear from you guys what your favorite is. And as far as The Mule... I really do enjoy this movie, guys. To be honest with you, I, I really like the fish out of the water stuff. You know, him being an old man and trying to use a cell phone or, you know, um, car carrying the drugs and not knowing what to do, the comedy of that, being an old guy. I think Clint Eastwood takes that to his advantage, and I think it really works. Again, Brad, uh, Bradley Cooper is really good as well. Um, as I believe they work together in American Sniper. He's, and that's a good movie as well. He's done a lot of really great stuff. And if this is, again, Clint's last movie, then, again, it's really well worth it. A great filmography. Definitely let me know what you guys prefer of his filmography here. And you get here a making of The Mule, Nobody Runs Forever, and the Toby Keith music video. Not a lot of special features here, but a movie that's actually well worth checking out, guys. A really cool crime drama that's, again, 
definitely look up the true story because the true story is awesome here but it's a very fascinating movie that you guys should definitely check out other than that that does it for this section guys let's see what else best buy's got all right guys we're over in this section of best buy here and unfortunately guys even over here they do not have the steelbook unfortunately guys no steelbook for bumblebee sorry guys but unfortunately this went really fast which is really odd to me because spider-man into the spider-verse went really fast for their steelbook then the aquaman one didn't fly off the shelves all that fast and now bumblebee did i guess it depends on the movie and the steelbook i guess i mean it depends but i do know this guys i do know that a lot of scalpers take these steelbooks they like take them very fast and put them on ebay so a lot of the ones that were at Best Buy most likely a lot of scalpers took them and they did put them on eBay it's unfortunate but that's what's happening right now steelbooks are hugely popular right now so unfortunately that's just what's gonna happen you're gonna pay a higher price for getting this stuff on eBay um, it, it just happens I, I, I hate to say it guys but you might have to go fishing on on eBay then the other thing over here I'm seeing is they have Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase, the DVD for $14.99 right here. And again, it kind of looks like a fun kids mystery movie. Again, it, it's not really much for me anymore, but I used to love a lot of kids mystery stuff back in the day. Whether it was like Scooby-Doo or, or stuff like that. It, it, that stuff back in the wheelhouse when, when I was a kid. Um, I, I know Scooby-Doo is not really a big thing anymore. I know they do a lot of, of stuff more with like stuff on Nickelodeon and Disney it's kind of nice to get something a little bit different and Nancy Drew is kind of cool just like kind of like back in the day like the Hardy Boys if you guys remember stuff with like the Hardy Boys like Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys is like classic so it's kind of cool to get a modern twist on it I, I just hope the movie's good I mean again like I, I like stuff for kids that they can think and it's not like just stupid stuff that you know, for, fortunately, a lot of stuff that comes out for kids nowadays is really stupid, and this is no exception sometimes. But again, I hope this is really good. Definitely let me know what you guys think of Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase. Hopefully, it's something smart and intellectual for kids to get into and not the dumb regular stuff that usually is spoon fed to them. Definitely let me know, guys. Other than that, that does it for Best Buy here. Unfortunately, no steelbook. All right, let's head out. So there's just so so selection this week at Best Buy certainly not as much as I was hoping for and Walmart definitely won the week for sure guys uh, it's a shame about the steelbook I would have loved to have shown the steelbook the only problem is again uh, you know it's just weird how certain steelbooks sell faster than others and I'm guaranteeing you guys that that you're gonna find that some of the Bumblebee steelbook is now on e on eBay it's on eBay I guarantee you guys you go look on eBay and it's there and it's a real shame because it really kills the fun of going into these stores because you're just gonna find scalpers that just take this stuff and just want to make a profit they don't care whether you love the movie or not they want to definitely capitalize on it it really honestly sucks guys but that's the way that we got to deal with this sometimes you're gonna be luck and find the steelbooks and other times you just got to go hunting on eBay that's just what happens but other than that you know they had still a lot of cool stuff a lot of the new releases as well so yeah not half bad here and definitely a lot of cool physical media to check out this week all right guys let's head home all right everybody that'll do it for the blu-ray and dvd out and about video this week and yeah you know there was quite a lot of releases coming out as far as like big name titles and outside of that, there was a lot of cool, really interesting, smaller releases, but not really any exclusives. And the one exclusive that we were hoping to see, well, we didn't get to see. But honestly, guys, I did do a couple things. I did call the one other Best Buy in my area and ask them if they had any in stock, and they do not. And in fact, the representative at that Best Buy that I did call... He told me that basically they only get in a certain amount of stock, just like any Best Buy would. And once it's done, it's done. They probably are not getting any more stock in. And I also checked on eBay as well. And 
yeah, they are already on the eBay site and they are going for a lot of money right now, like in the 50s and higher. So right now you're paying uh, almost double than what you would have paid in the store. And this is what these scalpers do, guys. It's It really sickens me because, again, they don't care whether you love the movie. They don't care about, you know... Um, about giving it to somebody who loves movies they just care about making a profit and you know sometimes i get it if you don't want your used dvds or your used blu-rays anymore then you know yeah fine go ahead sell it on ebay i've done the same thing but to just to to just buy up stock on you know in a best buy store just to sell it for more money i just think that's cheap and i think that's I think that's just wrong, and those are the kind of people that I absolutely hate. And so, that's why a lot of limited releases that I want to get, guys, um, through some of these boutique labels like a Screen Factory or Scorpion releasing, Code Red, whatever it is, I try to get that as soon as I can because you never know if, if, these, if these schmucks are going to just go on eBay and just go for a higher price just to screw you over. That happens quite a lot. So with these steelbooks, they're really popular now. And so that's just what's going to happen. I hate to say it, guys, but that's the reality of what we're dealing with now. So I do apologize that we didn't see it. But again, they are on eBay, and you will pay quite the extra amount of money just to get it. Because again, these scalpers just don't give a damn. Um, but hopefully you did pick up something cool this week. Definitely let me know, guys. And for me, well, I picked up a release over at Best Buy. And I picked up a release over at Walmart as well. So I definitely was supporting the stores in a big bad way this week. So yes, Walmart and Best Buy. I picked up two titles for the month of April. And, well, you guys won't get to find out what I have until the April pickup video, which will drop next month. It'll show off all of the titles that I am getting for April. And speaking of which, um, I will be posting the Blu-ray pickups for March later on this week, guys. Again, not a huge haul that I got for the month of March, but some really unique and interesting, weird, bizarre titles and a few big name titles as well. Nice little mixture. It'll actually be a very interesting video, so definitely tune in for that one as well. Plus more movie reviews as well. There is a lot of movie reviews that is coming down the pike, a couple more this weekend. And definitely in the past couple weeks, we have done a lot of reviews, guys. We've done one for Captive State, Us, Dumbo, and the beach bum as well uh if you have not checked out those reviews yet definitely do that guys and definitely check out the other stuff that i have as well if you are new to the channel check out the other blu-ray dvd out and about videos i do every tuesday check out the blu-ray pickup videos check out the theatrical movie reviews i do with my friends plus so much more content that's on the channel. If you do like physical media and movies and like how I talk about all that stuff, then definitely hit subscribe and be a part of the Film Fan Nation. I have a really wonderful subscriber base. This is some of the best subscribers I, I can ever ask for. I really appreciate the love that I get from you guys. And I hope that I give the love right back to you. If I do, then definitely let me know. And of course, if you love what I do and are not subscribed yet, definitely hit subscribe. And I did want to give you guys an update on the Walmart situation like I told you I was going to do, guys. So, what happened this past week was a doozy, guys. Basically, the interim store manager at the Walmart that I go to, she tried to get in contact with the corporate office by email. They still had not gotten to, to her yet. She sent another email. They still hadn't. And in the meantime, I was just getting frustrated that I wasn't hearing anything. And I was just getting worried about, oh my God, I'm not going to have any other option. I'm just not going to film at Walmart. What's going to happen here? And so I decided I'm going to call 1-800-WALMART again. And they told me the same thing, that it's not a media relations issue. 
that it's a specific store issue of whether they will allow it or not. Because what they told me, and also I got in touch with corporate as well. I got in touch with corporate faster than the interim store manager did, crazy enough as it is, and they told me the same exact thing. That basically, the problem with YouTube is YouTube is a very gray area when it comes to media relations. It's not print media, it's not a news channel, so it's hard to kind of uh, lock down YouTube in some ways. It's a very grayish area, and so it comes down to the individual stores themselves and whether they will allow it. I ended up going to the interim store manager, I ended up talking to her, and, you know, she, she, as, you know, just was a little concerned about me filming employees and customers, and I told her that's not an issue. I actually showed her one of the videos that I've done, and she looked at the video and she said, you, you're not showing off employees or customers. I said, yeah, you, you might see some in the, in the background a little bit here and there, but again, I'm not focusing on them. I'm focusing on the physical media. That's what I do. I'm not out to, to film employees or customers. I just want to show off the physical media. And so she understood. She saw the video. She got what I was trying to do. And I told her, look, I'm not vandalizing property. I'm not stealing. I'm not, um, you know, I'm not doing prank videos or goofing around in the store. I'm just showing off the physical media and doing free promotion. And she understood and she let me film. Don't think that this is the end of the Walmart situation, guys, because I can guarantee you that most likely it will happen again at some point, guys. I, I have a feeling that this is not the end of it, but it's kind of nice to at least have the interim store manager on my side for the time being. And so I may have to deal with this again in a few weeks, who knows, but for the time being, thank thankfully, the physical media gods are on my side, and I'm back over at Walmart, thankfully. But who who knows? I, it's always a gamble every week. You never know what's going to happen with these videos, so I'm always interested, guys. But again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up, and keep up to date with all of the videos I'm doing through Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Film Fan went away. Keep up to date with all I'm doing, plus extra images and videos I do from time to time on social media as well. All right, guys, quite a bit got released this week. Hope you picked up something good, and I will see you back next week for a brand new video. Take care, everybody, and happy hunting.